Well, first of all, I should say that it does not imply that I support every action taken in the name of the Iraqi resistance, especially as we now know that some of the actions undertaken in their name, ostensibly, were actually undertaken by other people entirely, uh, with a different agenda completely. So, whilst I support the legal, internationally enshrined legal right of any occupied people to resist their violent occupiers, that does not mean that every operation conducted by the Iraqi resistance is one that I would support. And well, well, what about an operation, for example, where Iraqi insurgents blow up a U.S. Humvee? No, there's no with? question that that's an entirely legitimate act of resistance. Uh, that's enshrined in the Geneva Convention and in international law. Uh, the violent occupiers have invaded the country illegally on the basis of a pack of lies and the Iraqi people are resisting them. And the kind of operation you mention, whilst a tragedy for the soldiers inside the Humvee, uh, is an entirely legitimate act of resistance.